Hi, this is Dan Tagashi from Venture Read. I'm here at the Consumer Electronics Show with uh, Hunter Smith of Analog, or, sorry, of National Instruments. Um, so tell us what you got here. So um, I'm with National Instruments, uh, a group within NI called mm -hmm. Waterloo Labs, and we're all about trying to find non-standard applications for standard biomedical technologies. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we're using an electrooculogram, standard biomedical measurement, to play games. Mm -hmm. And now this we, is Chris Culver. Yeah, this is Chris Culver. He's another uh, engineer from National Instruments. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Uh, and in this case, uh, we're, we're using. <laughs> uh -huh. We're relying on the fact that the eyes are polarized. They're actually positive in the front and negative in the back. Uh -huh. So as they move around side to side in your head, we can actually measure those voltages with these electrodes. Uh -huh. Now in this case, uh, we're here with ADI since uh, we're using a lot of their analog to digital converters as well as uh, some of their op amps to filter and amplify our signal. Uh -huh. um, once we do that, we process it using the NI single board reel where we actually do all the math to, to determine which direction you're looking. Uh -huh. Uh, and of course, this is all powered by LabVIEW, our graphical programming language, uh, where all of this processing is being done. So now if we actually look at the data coming in, if we uh, take a look at this green line, you can see when Chris looks left, we can get his face in there too, when he looks left, uh, we see a spike up, and when he looks right, we see a spike down on that green line. Yeah. Likewise, when uh, he looks up, we see a spike up on the red line, and when he looks down, we see a spike down on the red line. Yeah. Now, using those simple thresholds and our LabVIEW user interface where we can adjust these thresholds, we can trigger different alarms. Mm -hmm. Now, in this case, for CES, we decided uh, we wanted to have something fun to show off, mm -hmm. so we wrote our own little version of a LabVIEW whack-a-mole. Uh -huh. So we have four moles here, and they're going to jump <laughs> up, and as they pop up, Chris can look up. Her, uh, I missed it. Up. And so he's actually able to uh, hit the moles down just by looking in the direction of each one. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, this system is really just for fun, but uh, the source code, uh, wiring diagram, and schematics for all these projects are available at our website at waterloolabs.com. Mm -hmm. Cool, very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, he's doing pretty good there.